Introduction During the American Revolutionary War, specifically on August 13-14, 1777, the Battle of Machias took place. It involved a British amphibious assault on the town of Machias, located in present-day eastern Maine. The objective of the British forces, led by Commodore Sir George Collier, was to prevent a planned second assault on Fort Cumberland, which had been under siege since November 1776. However, the local militia, supported by Indian allies, effectively thwarted the British troops from landing. The British raiders, upon arriving below Machias, managed to capture a ship and raid a storehouse. The outcome of the raid was a matter of dispute. Commodore Collier claimed that the operation had been successful in destroying military supplies intended for an attack on Fort Cumberland, although no such supplies had actually been delivered to Machias. On the other hand, the defenders of Machias asserted that they had successfully prevented the town from being captured and had repelled the British forces. Background Machias, a Massachusetts community in present-day Maine, had been a thorn in the side of British naval authorities since the start of the American Revolutionary War. In 1777, John Allen led an expedition to establish a Patriot presence in Nova Scotia. However, British forces intercepted intelligence about Allen's plans, leading to an assault on Machias by Captain Sir George Collier. The defense of Machias was led by Colonel Jonathan Eddy, reinforced by local militia and Native American allies. Battle. On August 13, Collier's fleet reached the river's mouth. With 123 Marines on board, the Hope and the Blondes sailed upriver. The militia, informed of their approach, mustered 35 men to resist. A firefight ensued at the log boom, preventing the British from landing that day. Under the cover of fog the next morning, the Marines disembarked, cut the log boom, seized a sloop, and set fire to a storehouse, acquiring supplies. Despite continuous harassment from shore by militia and Indian allies, the British ships proceeded towards the town. As darkness fell, the Indians amplified their presence through chanting and shouting. Surprisingly, within half an hour, the brig and sloop swiftly departed without firing a shot, sailing downstream against the tide. The Hope ran aground but was later refloated by the tide, enduring a barrage from the militia swivel gun before entering Machias Bay. Aftermath Colonel Allen attributed the militia's success to British concerns of falling into a trap and likened the battle to Bunker Hill. American estimates claimed British casualties ranged from 40 to 100, while reporting only one American killed and one wounded. The British stated three killed and 18 wounded, primarily when the Hope grounded. After leaving Machias, Collier raided other communities and captured ships along the main coast. He declared the mission a success, but General Massey criticized Collier for his hasty departure and failure at Machias. Despite the British occupation of Costini, Machias remained unattacked for the rest of the war. Collier later defended New Ireland against the Penobscot expedition. Machias and other parts of eastern Maine were occupied during the War of 1812 but returned to the United States afterward.